You're probably familiar with the scope block to visualize signals in Simulink, but the analysis you can do is somewhat limited, and you have to route all the signals you want to visualize to that big scope block. Starting with release 2016B, you can use the new logic analyzer by just selecting signals. Here I use a control A to select all in this hierarchy, and add them to the list to stream. You see a little wave icon appear there to show you that it will be streamed. I haven't run yet with streaming on, so there are no waves, but all the signals are there. There are three that were apparently unnamed, which makes debugging challenging. So let's take a look to see where they're coming from. This one I want to look at, so I'll give it a name. And the other two are right next to it, and they go into our design under test, or DUT. And I actually want to look at all of the DUT signals anyway, so I won't need these two signals. And the first one will update with its new name once I run simulation. So now I'll go into the DUT, control A, and stream these signals as well. Looking in the logic analyzer, it has the full hierarchical names. So I could stretch that pane to be able to see which signal is which, but that takes up valuable real estate. So I'll just turn on short names. Then in order to separate them so I know what's in the DUT, I can create a divider so that's more clear. And I'll do the same for the output signals as well. At this point, I'll run the simulation and now I have waveforms and that one signal is updated with its new name and it automatically zoomed to fit so about all we can see at this point though is that we have some analog and digital signals and some arrays of signals so let's zoom in a bit to see here I hold the shift key to zoom to a window and highlight the input signal chain to see the analog getting converted to fixed point and then as I pan across I can see it's delayed output now, say I want to look at the Write Enable window and make sure I'm only writing coefficients into the FIR filter when that's enabled. I'll put the cursor on the rising edge, and it, it snaps to edges when you're close, or you can use the Next and Previous Transition buttons. And I'll add a second cursor at the falling edge. Now I can move this window across the simulation. If I want to see what's going on in that window in more detail, I can just hold the shift key down and drag the cursor to zoom in on that area. So the logic analyzer offers some nice capabilities and you have the flexibility to colorize different signals, change the radix to how you want them visualized, and when you save your Simulink model, all these logic analyzer settings are saved so you can pick up where you left off in your analysis.